Kingdom Blessings. I'm Pastor Sheila. Are you ready to be blessed, revived, and refreshed? It's time for Moed Shel Raga, the appointed time of refreshing. Let's prepare our hearts and our minds for the Word of God. Come on, let's go. Moed Shel Raga. Yeah, yeah, Moe Shilraga, Yeah, yeah, It's time for the word. The word of God, time. In His presence, joy, joy, joy at His right hand, pleasures forevermore. Moet Shiraga. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. The word of the Lord is coming from Psalm 119. We are continuing here at verse 62 and stopping at 64 today. But we want to remind you, we've started at verse 1. So go back, watch the previous Moet Sharagas so that you can start from verse 1 and go on to where we are today. The word of God is coming from the Life Application Study Bible. And it says, at midnight, I rise to thank you for your just laws. Anyone who fears you is my friend. Anyone who obeys your commandments. Oh Lord, the earth is full of your unfailing love. Teach me your principles. Dearly beloved, my dear sons and daughters, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I want you to be reminded that we need to thank God because he is just and his laws are just. The psalmist here says, I rise at midnight to thank you for your just laws. There are so many laws that are not just at all. Some of them don't even make sense. Some of them are ridiculous, but God's laws are just. And when we think about how righteous God is, how holy he is, how just he is, we ought to thank God for that. The psalmist says, anyone who fears God is his friend. And anyone who obeys the commandments of the Lord is his friend. And I'm agreeing with that. If you love the Lord and you're walking in his truth, you're my friend. You're my brother. Hallelujah. You're my sister. And it says that all the earth is full of his unfailing love. Someone wrote a song, what the world needs now is love, sweet love. That's the only thing that there's just too little of. How, how enlightening is that song? Because the scripture tells us that God is love. And that's what the world is missing. The Lord, God. We need love. In a wicked generation and a wicked time, what the world needs now is love. And the psalmist says, oh Lord, the earth is full of your unfailing love. Teach me your principles. I want to know your principles because they are just and they are loving. So I want to encourage you. Let's walk by the principles. Let's live by God's principles. Let's live by God's just laws. Let's live according to his commandments. Let's bless him with our lives. Let's present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. 
not being conformed to this world, but being transformed by the renewing of our minds. The way of the world is not ours, but the way of the Lord should be our life. It should be our example. So I want to encourage you, son of God, love the principles of God, love his just laws, because they are just that, just, and they are righteous. Come on, let's pray. Father, Father, we come to you thanking you, praising you, glorifying you, magnifying you, lifting you because you are King of kings and you are Lord of lords. We confess our faults before you. Have mercy upon us according to thy loving kindness. Blot out our transgressions, Father. Forgive us of any word, any deed that has been done unpleasing in your sight. We want to make you proud. We want to represent you well. So purge us with his soap. Wash us in your blood. Create within us a clean heart, O oh God. Renew a right spirit within us. Father, we are crying out to you. You are our Abba, Father. We are so proud to call you our Father. Thank you, Lord, for accepting us in the beloved, for drafting us and grafting us into the plan of salvation. Thank you, Lord, for making a way out of no way. Thank you, Jesus, for giving your life for us. Father, we ask that you would strengthen us. Holy Spirit, lead us, guide us into all truth. Illuminate our minds. Thank you for the word of God that is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. Holy Spirit, open up our understanding that we will discern the truths of the word of God. Father, we're praying for your ministry gifts. We're praying for every apostle, every prophet, every evangelist, every pastor, every teacher. We're praying, Lord God, for your body, the body of Christ, for the church at large. We're praying for every bishop, every elder, every teacher of the gospel, every psalmist, every intercessor, every Levite. We're praying, God, for your children, your sons, that we would manifest here on the earth. Father, let your light in us shine brightly in this dark world. And we crown you, Lord. We acknowledge you as King of kings and Lord of lords, King of our lives, because you are our King. We are the kingdom of God. Thank you for righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's the kingdom of God. Holy Spirit, help us to bring the kingdom of heaven everywhere we go advancing the kingdom of God for the kingdom of heaven the kingdom of God suffered violent and the violent take it by force father help us to manifest as sons of God on in this world that we will let our shine light shine shine brightly everywhere throughout the land every continent every city every state every place Lord where your children are let us shine brightly for your glory and for your honor. Thank you for miracles, signs, and wonders that follow our lives because we believe your word. Father, it doesn't matter what it looks like, what it sounds like, what it feels like. Only what you say matters for you are the author and finisher of our faith. You are Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Father, you told us that we can have dominion here on this earth. You gave us authority, Lord God. You said to be fruitful, to multiply, to replenish, to subdue, and to have dominion. So, Father, help us walk in the supernatural. Therefore, we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh thereof. God, we're looking to you. For you will establish us. You will settle us. You will bring everything to pass that you have said in your word. So, God, thank you for every promise in you is, is yes and amen. Thank you, Lord God, that your laws are just. That we know that you are a just God. And that whatever you have said, you will do. We are decreeing healing on the body of Christ. Release your healing, your virtue, Lord God, in every son of God. And help us to do the same for those that don't know you in the pardon of this sin. Help us to be the ministers of reconciliation. That we will be the answer for this dying world. That we're not the answer, but we have you. You are the answer. Oh God, help us to decree and declare your word. Help us to represent you here on this earth as ambassadors. That we will make you proud. That we will represent you well. In the mighty, matchless name of Yeshua, Amashiach. 
We give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, beloveds, this has been Moed Shorava. The appointed time of refreshing. I pray you've been blessed, revived, and refreshed in the presence of the Lord. We want to remind you, Friday is coming. We are only two more days before Worshippers Refreshing 2022. We're convening at Black Rock Retreat Center in Quarraville, Pennsylvania. Listen, you don't want to miss this move of God. Hallelujah. We're going to be refreshed rejuvenated, refilled, blessed. We're going to laugh, rejoice in the Lord. We're going to have a wonderful time with the Lord. He's going to move in a mighty way. We are decreeing, declaring miracles, signs, and wonders open heaven. We're expecting God to intoxicate us, to just fill us to the brim and overflow. Will you be there at Worshippers Refreshing 2022? Now you have to RSVP if you plan on eating with us, but you can come and be a day guest and pay the day rate. Go to the website, get all the information. We're looking for you there. We are so excited. Are you going to be there? Are you going to get away with God? We're getting away with God. We're going to shut the door and we're going to have a great time in the Lord. So we want to invite you, Black Rock Retreat, the Worshippers Refreshing 2022. Be there and be refreshed. Shalom.